There are two main paradigms of learning. Classical conditioning, which was demonstrated with Pavlov and his dog experiment, is important for animals in adaptation. It is also significant in situations in which animals learn to associate a stimuli in its environment, which is also known as a stimulus, learning. Operate conditioning, which was demonstrated with Skinner and his box, is important because it demonstrates that animals can do things that lead to good consequences and will stop doing things that lead to bad ones. This can also be known as response learning. Classical and operate conditioning both boil down to stimulus and significant events, as well as response and a significant events. Although these are often studied separately, they occur naturally together in nature. Crows looking for food do so efficiently because they have learned from the environment, and each behavior that they demonstrate is an operant reinforced by food. These different ways of learning can be applied to children at play, as well as with drug addicts. In the case of drug addicts, drugs are the biologically significant event that serve as a strong reinforcer. This can lead to different questions about reinforcers, such as, how do they work? Do they work on different schedules? And under what conditions do they result in a response? Stimuli can signal an association between behavior and a significant event, or there can be a direct association between a stimuli and a response so that the stimulus can elicit the response reflexively. Scientists have found that after repetition and practice, behavior can become habitual. <clears throat> the situation may come to elicit it automatically. These behaviors become automatized. These ways of thinking can explain behaviors in ourselves and others and can be surprisingly useful.